OK, friends, one of the first things you want to do to get started on this job is to safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels off the ground. After that, remove all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. All right, now with the wheel off of there, we have a nice clear view of where our tie rod ends are going to be located. Now we need to start separating these tie rod ends, so looking in the center, you're going to find a 22 millimeter jam nut. You can also use a 7 8 wrench. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and put my wrench right on there. We're going to start turning this clockwise a little bit. And then essentially, you just pretty much want to break this jam nut free. <clears throat> there we are. Now once it's broken free, you can continue on to removing this nut right down here that holds the outer tie rod end to the knuckle. Let's get this cotter pin out of the way first. Typically I just recycle these and then I replace them with a brand new one. Now let's remove our 18 millimeter nut. That also had a washer on it, so we're gonna make sure that we put the washer back on. You can set that nut and washer aside. Next, we're gonna separate the outer tie rod end from the knuckle. We'll use our hammer, and we're gonna give it a couple loving bonks on the knuckle. With the outer tie rod end out of the knuckle, we can continue on by turning this counterclockwise to remove it from the inner tie rod end. Now, as we turn this, we're going to count the amount of rotations it takes to fully remove it. That was one, two, three, and so on. Okay. So there it is. Now just go ahead and write down that number. Your number is going to be different for me. Mine was 21, but like I said, yours could differ. Now let's go ahead and put a little bit of copper never season on that threaded area. Time to put on that outer tie rod end. To do this, we're just going to start it on and then we're going to turn it back in the same amount of threads as it took to remove it. One, two, and so on. Now once you have it on, the same amount of threads as when you removed it, go ahead and put it up and over the knuckle here, slide it down and through. Let's take our washer and our nut, we'll put it on here and bottom it out. Once it's bottomed out, go ahead and torque that nut to 22 foot-pounds. Now once you have the nut torqued, the next thing that you want to do is pay attention to the slots that are on the nut in comparison to the hole that goes through the stud of the outer tie rod end. If it's not lined up, continue tightening this nut until the very next slot does. Let's take a cotter pin, slide it right on through, and then pin it over. Now let's continue on by bottoming out the jam nut up against the outer tie rod end. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that counterclockwise. That's going to pull the nut outward towards me. 
Now the next thing I want to do is hold this area so it doesn't spin, and then we'll use our wrench to tighten that jam nut. Make sure that's nice and snug. After you have that snugged, you just want to pay attention to the outer tie rod end in comparison to the knuckle. Essentially, we want them both to be pretty much level with each other. We don't want the outer tie rod end to look like it's tipping to one direction or the other. All right, so now you just want to double check everything. Make sure everything's tightened and torqued and situated perfectly. After that, let's go ahead and get the wheel up on here. Now we can start on all of our lug nuts. We'll bottom them out, get the wheel back on the ground, and then we're going to torque all of the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. All right, the wheel's back on the ground. Let's torque these to that 100 foot-pounds. Tort. Okay friends, we got the car back together. What's left to do now? Now typically you're going to want to hop in that passenger seat, take it for a little road test down to your local alignment shop. Thanks for watching.